Kathy, the victim is a 65-year-old California man. The news of his passing is tragic. Shark attacks are a rare occurrence, but here on our island home of the Big Island of Hawaii and throughout the Hawaiian Islands, it's becoming all too common. 65-year-old woman is in the hospital after being bitten by a shark this morning. Until recently, it was not believed that the apex predator, Great White, even frequented the Hawaiian waters. Now the world's largest great white ever spotted was seen off the coast of Oahu's North Shore, the Big Blue. Her right arm, right lower shoulder was severed. Just four days later, a 16-year-old surfer was bitten by a shark in the waters off the Big Island of Hawaii. The patient suffered critical injuries to his left knee, to his left leg, I should say, and he did suffer some abrasions to his hand, most likely trying to fend off the shark. Just yesterday, there was another fatal attack off the coast of Maui. What is the relationship between these recent attacks? It's unclear what type of sharks were involved in the latest attacks, but it appears Maui is somewhat of a black hole when it comes to data regarding the aggressive tiger shark. And just this winter, off the Kohala coast of the Big Island, a woman on a kayak was attacked by a shark. There are signs posted on the beach just like this one that you see right here, letting people know about the shark sightings, and we'll let you know when we get the all clear. Described as a tiger shark, attacked the woman in the kayak. The woman's husband witnessed the whole thing from his standing position on a stand-up paddleboard. He fended off the shark and rescued his wife. Initial reports was that it was a Galapagos shark, but it turns out through eyewitness testimony from the victim and the husband, it's more likely a deadly apex predator known as the tiger shark. Something came from behind, knocked over the kayak, and bit my leg. It sounds a lot more like a tiger shark, to be quite honest. But it still remains a mystery as what family of shark it was who attacked the lady that day. This is the sixth shark attack in Hawaii so far this year, according to the DLNR's Division of Aquatics Resources. At first I thought it was, you know, red board shorts, but it was actually a lot of blood that the guy lost. Whether it's the Galapagos, Tiger, Great White, or any other man-eating sharks, the fact remains, shark attacks are on the rise on the Big Island and throughout the island chain. Oceanographers and marine biologists have speculated that the reason for the increase in shark attacks can be attributed to an increase in the shark's food supply and the simple fact that more people are using the oceans for recreational use. Today's shark attack marks the fifth one this year. Last month, a Big Island man was bitten on his leg by a tiger shark. Currently, here in Hawaii, there's a law that people can't hunt or fish for the shark's favorite food, the turtle. Fishermen here believe more turtles equals more sharks. This video shows first responders on jet skis bringing him back to shore after the attack. But if there are more turtles for sharks to eat, why are they attacking more people? Um, he looked unconscious when they transferred him to the other gurney and we could see that they were trying to do CPR on him. A tooth fragment is the surest way, but also the bite radius, if it's a very big bite radius, then it rules out a lot of the other species of sharks, you know, like Galapagos shark. Some people speculate a kayak or a surfer looks like a turtle to a shark from below. But how does this explain the recent fatal attack of a woman wading in just four feet of water off the beach right here?
you know, Tiger Shark, of course, is the number one that comes to my mind for a fatal attack. Following here at five, a Granite Bay man is dead tonight after a shark attack in Maui. The rise in these shark attacks gives credence to the idea of the rogue shark. When your mother told you that there was no such thing as monsters, she lied. They're out there, but it's their home. Now we'll see in the next coming months, especially October, if things are gonna get more in a frenzy. I got Brent here and I wanna go over some of the incredible close encounters with sharks that we've had while surfing. Yeah, Blake, it's a, a long story This kind of hits home actually. And we've grown up on the island since the early 70s. And we've had numerous encounters out there in the waves, having fun and having them bump your boards and scaring the living daylights out of you. You know, if you would ask me if I would ever go in the water again after just watching and reporting on this in the most recent events, absolutely, the answer is yes. We'd be out there in a heartbeat. It's so rare to be attacked by a shark, but to be killed by one is even beyond imagination if it were possible but you just never know you are subject to the environments if you're out there in their home the water the ocean yeah hawaiians actually considered them as gods they're basically sacred to them and they feel that they protect them out in the waters if you're out there and there's possible things that if you don't know what you need to know about being out there in the water you should know some tips it's interesting, some of the victims, unfortunately, are people that visit the islands, and some people aren't aware of their environments, which is the number one rule. Know your environment, make sure there's a lifeguard around, and have enough energy. If you do ever see a shark, stand your ground and be aggressive towards it is some of the information that we've heard from the locals, and it's worked for us out there while we're surfing. We've seen them approach us, and what we did is pretty much head right in their direction aggressively with their surfboard using it as a protection and they would pretty much dart away thank goodness yeah many a times over there uh, right next to us so valley of the kings known as ypl valley it's basically a a bed of hammerhead sharks they love that area and even uh tiger sharks frequent the area and we've seen them and blake you're right they do come up close you'll you'll scatter them away and give them a little hit of water kind of to the face or jab your board towards them and have them scuttle away and you, you think to yourself should he head back or but the waves are too good we we stay out there the consideration of what you feel in the water at the time kind of gives you a heads up if you're a waterman and it's important to know your environment especially if you're out there in the water and definitely these things can be aggressive at times and there is some kind of a rise going on it seems to me over the past few years it's been getting more frequent the bites the attacks and the whole point as well is that there is danger everywhere and the likelihood of being attacked by any kind of shark is very very low you'd be having a better chance of winning a million dollars in a lottery than being attacked by a shark so just keep that in mind and don't be afraid when you're out there just be aware that's the main thing we'll be getting back to the ufo videos but this was breaking news that just happened and we thought it would be something that we wanted to share with you it's right in our backyard right here at third phase moon and we're out there in the ocean a lot and in regards to this so we're aware you stay aware and keep your eyes on the skies everybody